Hello Taurus and welcome to your in-depth forecast for February for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you a broad overview of what to expect but then please stay with me. I will dive deep, give you all the key dates, the key influences that are going to impact on your sign in particular. And I have to say this can be an incredibly exciting month for Taurus people. So the month begins with a new moon in your sector of success, but that's going to be in a conjunction with Saturn, the planet of potential restriction, but Saturn can also bring rewards. So it just depends on your unique situation and how it's playing out. If you've been working very hard in a very sustained way on something for some time, this month can bring the rewards. We mustn't see Saturn only in a negative uh, context. If, however, you're a bit unsure about what to do about your work, you're feeling a bit bored, you're feeling restless, that really wouldn't be a surprise because, of course, Uranus continues to occupy your sign and that is a very edgy, erratic influence. But, you know, in the first uh, 12 days of this month, Uranus is forging a delightful link, not just with your ruling planet Venus, which is gorgeous, but also with Mars. And Mars loves being in your sister Earth sign of Capricorn. It's known as being exalted. And Venus and Mars are in touch with each other pretty well all through this month, but particularly closely from the start of week two right through to the end of the month. So your ruler Venus gives you that real instinct for great taste, you're a bit of a connoisseur when it comes to good food and good wine or more natural organic living or you love a little bit of luxury or indulge in yourself in some very sensual pleasures and all those things can be emphasized this month but perhaps in a slightly different way because Uranus creates surprises but because Venus and Mars are connecting in your uh, sector of discovery but also truth I think you're wanting to experience life in a bit of a fresher way this month. So that's really something to look forward to. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'd be honored if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, you can get your free daily horoscope, written horoscope, fired to your device each morning. I've written these for over 25 years. Please see the link beneath this video. Now, year 22 may have started, but you can still order your 12-month forecast and it will be from the time of the order, a full 12 months into the early parts of 23. And with my special package, get your character analysis as well. This is based on Cirrus Astrology, your time, date and place of birth, and can help you to ascend above this zodiac forecast. Gain Syrian insights for what the rest of this year holds. Please see the link below. Hello Taurus and welcome to your monthly horoscope for February. Now as this month begins, you're given a golden opportunity to seize life's mantle and really take some giant step forwards. For sure, Mercury may be retrograde as the month begins, but that resolves itself by the third, comes out of shadow by the fifth. Something to do with a document, uh, uh, an agreement, uh, something where you're looking for a sense of truth or reality can become much clearer with that change. But of course, the new moon on the first is asking you to think seriously about your role in life. If you're happy, some kind of uh, success can present itself later this month. If you feel frustrated, penned in and bored, the planets are really urging you to be much bolder. And that's because Jupiter, the planet of growth, is in your sector of the future. It's going to be joined also by the Sun on the 18th. So that's exciting too. And this area is also to do with friendships and contacts. But because Jupiter links brilliantly with Mars, which itself is exalted in the sign of Capricorn, your sister Earth sign, in the first 12 days of this month, that's a very energized, very confident combination. And then Uranus in your sign, very much about being more authentic, searching for your truth, uh, shrugging off any kind of restriction uh, that stops you being the person you really want to be. Uranus links spectacularly well with both uh, Venus and Mars, and of course, uh, broadly with Jupiter, as this early part of the month unfolds. And then from 
week two, three and four, we actually have Venus and Mars so closely together, it really gives you a fantastic opportunity when it comes to how you relate to others. With Mercury also coming out of its shadow, it's combining with Pluto at the start of this month. Once more, you're going to have almost a forensic ability to cut through the froth and get to what's really important for you. So a penetrating mindset, huge amounts of your natural charm can be showcased. And I don't mean by being insincere. The ninth house is to do with travel, but it can be to do with higher education could be to do with knowledge. It may be that you're going to sign up for a course or you're going to give lectures or you're going to engage more in the digital world. But some kind of opportunity can come for you even if you decide to change the status quo. If you decide to stick with the status quo, I think it will be because you feel very engaged and it feels like it's rewarding you for all your hard work and efforts. And that will become really clear by the 14th when uh, Mercury moves uh, back into the sign of Aquarius and that will be a potential high point for you. Now on the 16th there is a full moon. And that full moon occurs in Leo. Now that is more to do with where you live, how you live there and whom with. So if you're in a, a relationship where you do feel really cramped, but you don't actually feel very nurtured, that could really alert you for a need for greater variety, greater spontaneity and freedom. But those are adjectives not often used in, uh, in the description of the basic instincts of Taurus people who have a real appreciation of stability because you're a fixed sign. But this full moon also occurs in a fixed sign. But it's the role of Pluto which is so critical. Pluto is very much about change. And if your truth isn't being met this month, you don't feel that someone you're associating with really understands where you're coming from. They don't share your excitement to open up your world and make it more edgy and uh, outgoing and perhaps more, in, in, uh, more drawn towards being more curious in some way, if they want to keep things really as they have been, then that could see you thinking about heading to the door marked exit. Now I know, of course, February sees Valentine's Day on the 14th, and you may be thinking, you know, what are the prospects for me? Well, if you're single, having Venus conjoining with Mars on Valentine's Day is great. But also Jupiter is forging a great link with these two early in the month and also Uranus. And then in the last 10 days, Venus, your ruler, is supported beautifully by Neptune again, repeating an influence which occurred in the first 12 days of this year because Venus has retraced her steps. And then, of course, on the 18th, with the sun moving into Pisces, that's very much about fraternity, about mixing and mingling. And if we do see a pushback on the physical restrictions upon us, and of course where you live may be much freer than where I live, but if that does happen, there's a great opportunity to link up with people later this month. So even if your status is single as this month begins, I think there's really going to be someone who really takes your fancy this month. But just don't expect it to be a carbon copy of someone you've been drawn to in the past. Because the more fresh, different, stimulating and even challenging that someone is than the type of people you've hung out with before, the more it's actually going to inspire you. So this month has so much enrichment in it, but it does call upon you to actually step outside your comfort zone to seize the opportunity. And of course, that's not easy. You are the sign of stability bar none in the zodiac. So change isn't something you always welcome. But if you're up for it, and you can make that change with someone that you enjoy being with, whether it's a friend and you can get out and about more and investigate things, or you want to do something more rugged and adventurous, that could call out to you too. It's just in the last week, Mercury back in the sign of Aquarius is squaring up with Uranus in your sign. There could be a little bit of work pressure at that point, especially if you're having to exist in an environment which really expects you to 
uh, work in a very formulaic way and it's not very free and it's not very creative that could make you feel a bit penned in but generally this is one of the brightest months I can remember for yourself for a very long time so I wish you all the best take care and goodbye for now